Hope you were singing along there, Nicholas. Random man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network on a Sunday matinee. What's going on? Hola, senorita brown-eyed girl. Como esta? Hope you're doing all right. Everybody else, uh, who else did I see here? Gene Harlow's here. Hello, Gene. Hey. Nice to see Gene in the house. Blakey's in the house. We were watching Fred Astaire and Ginger dancing a little earlier to... uh, You like potatoes and I like potatoes. Yeah, um, let's call it quits. Is that what it is? Let's Let's call call it all off. off. Yeah. Let's call the whole thing off. What a great tune, watching them dance. They rock, man. Boy, they can really dance on those skates. You look at that Ginger when she's dancing, though. Until they fall flat on the face at the end. You're watching her when she's dancing on those skates, that one part. You can see the look on her face. She's not quite sure if she's going to fucking make it or not. I can see it. I know that's what she's thinking. You look in her eyes. You can see she's like, oh, I'm hanging in there, but this is going to be close. She pulls it off, and they look good together. But what a cool – I like watching those guys dance. I think that's wicked. Fred Astaire and that uh, – when they do uh, – what's the other one we like? Um, not Hey Ya. What is that one? That other song they dance to. You know which one I mean. We both like it. You watch. We've watched it before a couple of times. Anyways, that's just. Uh, oh, there's Giggles. You better say hello to Giggles. She hello, says, Giggles. Hey, I'm here. Thank you for noticing. She's getting quite bored. I didn't. Now. I she scrolled didn't up see. this stupid chat thing as far as it'll go, and I didn't see your name, so I'm sorry. She's very bossy these days, you know, like, Giggles. She's getting bossy, man. She is. I'm not taking my computer anywhere near her. Hey, look, brown eyed girls in the chat. I said hello to her already. I said, "Hola, señorita, cómo está." Where were you? Oh, I was, uh, I was sending that email to Sam. Oh, I see. Doing other things. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. So, where was I? Uh, ah, bueno, senorita. Muy bueno. Um, 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 he was going to say, here's the song should have played for Dave the other night when his mother-in-law was with us. I don't know why I didn't think of this one. Mother in love. Mother in love. Mother. Tommy Shaw, Girls with Guns, with a Yankee and a Brit on a Sunday matinee. How's it going out there? Look at Donna using the word grub. Yeah, Brits use the word I knew she was a redneck. <laughs> red, red, like a dick Are you on serious? a dog. What? Where the hell did that son of a bitch go? <laughs> right by your You guys use the word grub. Yeah. Christ, that's as red as a fucking dick on a dog. Let's yeah. get some grub. That's fucking cowboy talk. And uh, you know, you go to you go to a pub and have a meal as well, and it'll say things like pub grub, you know. Pub grub. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even imagine the prize to see you use that word. I thought you picked it up from me. Nah. Christ, I've said it a million times. Let's get some grub. Let's get some grub. Let's get some grub, bub. You know, where we went, where we went for some grub, we um, <laughs> I actually said to the woman. Um, can you not put the grease on the cob? And she just kind of looked at me like... She probably thought you meant don't get any spit on his dick or something. <laughs> <laughs> don't grease his cob. <laughs> as soon as I said the word cob, I realized straight away and I said, bread roll. <laughs> Tim, you got me thinking of a big old uh, Dutch oven hanging over an open fire there with a big old pot of stew in it or some baked beans boiling over the fire. Mm, boy, that smell of that. Throw some hickory under there and get that fire going. Oh. Hey, Tim, 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 Tim. Did you see your new musical mission? We set you on a mi- we set you on a new musical mission last night. I can't remember what it is actually, so I hope you guys remember what it is. What was it? What the hell are you asking me for? I don't pay attention. What to you don't shit. remember either? You could sing anything. Those are your friggin' ideas, not oh, mine. Oh no, it was uh, Mrs. Jib Jab Shet. Something about Sinner. Uh, Summer. Sinner. Skinner. Sin. Sin. Yeah, something. Heaven's just a sin away. Heaven's just a sin away. Mrs. Jib Jab said that you guys are going to sing it. Oh, we can't wait. I like those Starbucks mocha, mocha uh, frappe things in a store. About friggin' almost three bucks a piece, if not that now. Oh, those yeah. Those things are awesome. I love them. Yeah, they're great. Just they're too friggin' expensive. Heaven's just a sin away. Every time I have one of those mocha frappe things, I always end up with a bit of brain freeze. You sit and watch me, don't get you? Because you guzzle time. them, which takes them out of the freezer, then opens it up and chug a lug, chug a lug. Makes me want to holler, hidey ho. Hey, there's a song right there. What the hell? Chug a lug, chug a lug. Makes you want to holler, hidey ho. Burns your rectum, don't you know? Hidey ho. <laughs> okay. Sandy Tom. I wish I was a punk rocker. 
Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. In, in 77, 77 and 69, 69, revolution was in the air. I was, I was born, born too late to, to a world that doesn't care. Do it, baby. Oh, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. When the head of state didn't play guitar, not everybody drove a car. This is Becky. This is Tim. And we're listening to the Yankee, Yankee and the, the Brit. All the time! All the time. Do it now. We're live in Texas. <laughs> and the Chattahoochee on the RTM Radio Network on a Sunday matinee. Hello, Chris Steele. What's going on? Hi, Leah. Nice to see you, as always. Hi. You guys rock. I'm surprised you guys come around on a Sunday. Don't you have lives? Don't you have something to do? <laughs> I've just posted up in the Yankee and the Brit page what? saying that Randy should sing that song that I we just like done. I sound like no fucking and Alan Jackson. I think you guys should get on there and agree, because if, so, if enough people agree, then he's got to do it. It sounds You've got to terrible. Do it now. No, I won't, Ethel. Do Shut it now. up. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible stuff. Anyways, we're just here hanging out. I'm jamming. Whatever comes to mind, I'm playing it. You got something you want to hear? Let me know. We'll throw it on. We'll walk over. We'll throw it under the bus if we have to. <laughs> Why is it we're Dave singing, talking about throwing people under the bus? You don't like them. I think he had throw them under the bus. I think he had a bit too much pop the other night. <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying, talking about throwing people under the bus. Had a sugar buzz. He was in a good mood. I was tickled to death to hear him laughing. He doesn't laugh much. Yeah. Always I so serious. He's... Yeah, it's kind of it's not nice. So, thanks, Dave, it's for being great. happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, listening yeah, and eating ribs and corn on the cob. Oh, that's right. I got two ears in the fridge. I got to eat those puppies. <gasps> yeah. Right, I want to stick them back on your head, love. We went out the other day, and Pop says, bring me a couple ears of corn. Boy, that sparked it. It was like, yes, I'll get myself a couple over here. They're 25 cents a piece, so he got them for like 16 cents a week before. I wish I'd have known. I'd have had him get me some extras. That's pretty cheap for an ear of corn. Usually, they're like a buck something a piece. Rip off bastards. Well, anyways, um, well, my elbow's all crusty over here. I hate that. Goddamn old man elbows. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, and I'm I've a- got a crusty elbow. I've got a scar on my Not elbow. Like this. Look at that. It's disgusting. Oh, that is crusty. I know. Here, put some of this on. I need some. Uh... <laughs> Rub it in. I need some. <laughs> <laughs> I need some of those. Uh... Yeah, dip your hands what's in those that. uh what's those friggin <laughs> dip your elbow in what's that a fi- <laughs> what is that a filing pad or a buff pad what is that that you uh use on your toes like for bliss or for uh not oh, yeah. blisters the hard skin that you yeah, know uh, um, calluses yeah pumice pumice stone is that what it is you just scrub them off something like that that's gonna hurt you, i wouldn't use that on your elbow <laughs> well, you said to put some on it. What do you mean? Now you're telling me not yeah, to? Yeah, I meant I wouldn't use a pumice stone on that old boat. Grind that bitch right down to the knob, man. What the hell? <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, no. <I> swear. <laughs> oh, you guys should be glad you can't see what goes on behind yeah, I told you, every time we have a show, somebody has to talk about food. <laughs> you know? You ask them what they're doing, we're eating. Do people not, ever stop eating? It's not a Yankee and the Brit show without people talking about the dinner. I guess. That's all right. I like it. We just what, what did I just have? I can't remember what I had. That meat inside the cob. What you had meat, have? baby. I had meat. <laughs> nom nom. What but did you have? I'm talking I don't about know what the hell and I had some meat. I, you know, I didn't even pay any attention to what you were eating. No, that shredded meat. Come on, help me out. Oh, here. you had barbecued uh, beef. Yeah, but I didn't have none of that barbecue sauce on. But you didn't have her cob browned. I didn't have my cob browned, no. <laughs> I did get a couple donuts for later, though. Coffee and donuts. Nom, nom, nom. This shit just got sexy. Uh, and we'll be out again all day tomorrow. going to be a nice day. Get out in the sunshine and cook. Hundred. It was 107. What and, uh, What time did we go? Five o'clock we went? Yeah. and It was It was still 107 on the sign and down there? it was 110 there? about three o'clock. Yeah. Beautiful outside. We should, get, we should get a song on, and I want to go and show Randy something on the thermometer. Well, let's before. get a song on here. The kinks yeah. all on, day on. and all of the night. Get your shoes on. Put your slap on. We're going out and we're going to be Junior Walker and the All-Stars, how sweet it is, is to, to be loved, loved by you. you. Oh, baby. 
We're jamming our socks off over here. I know, I'm having a blast. That's, That's what right. it's all about. Party. Just Sunday jam, buddy. The Sunday Get matinee. Get in the Brit show. <clears throat> I guess we'll just keep right on moving along. You guys are over there gnawing on your grub. We're over Where the bloody old away. Steve? Steve kicks off today yeah, and no, demands a show. somebody a drink. Never mind that. Steve demands a show today. Right, he has a right big kick up or stink about it. And where the f- in hell is he? Did they he really? went to his scene. Did no, he really? No, I didn't never. think so. He's watching, but anyway, Dave probably watching football. And his little tantrums got us on the Yankee and the Brit show tonight. It is nowhere to be seen. He's That's just typical. He's watching football, damn it. Leave the guy alone. I guess we should not we should and we should enjoy a Daveless show, you know, and do the Daveless dance. I'm just jamming, that's all I I'm just playing the stuff I like to hear. Stuff I like to sing along with. Hope you guys like it too. Yankee and the Brit, the Sunday matinee. Kick back, enjoy your grub, sing along, relax. Have some memories. Whatever makes you happy. It's Sunday, man. Piss off. Do it again. Steely Dan with the Yankee and the Brit. The RTM Radio Network, the Sunday matinee. Just hanging out here. Hi, Christine. What are you guys talking about? Who's dying? Whitney Houston's daughter. Don't you remember a few weeks oh, ago? Yeah, I, I told saw you about it. it. Wasn't it a few weeks ago? Yep. See, and they, they're all saying she died today. I've actually got a message here. What's she dying from? More drugs or what? I don't know, but I actually posted a message to you couple of weeks ago I think he was doing something so I posted a message to you and uh, about Whitney Houston's daughter dying and uh, these guys say that she's that she died today okay so, so you're looking huh what are you doing then I've just found I'm just posting this um, this is from my inbox so is this going to make national news? Are we going to lower the flags to half staff or what? I don't know, but she can't have died today if I already knew about it weeks ago. I don't know. I don't understand what the big deal is. You know, I mean, yeah, it's sad she died. Just I don't like to see anybody die, but, you know, it happens to everybody. But so, sorry, just don't we'll see the do interest. We'll do it. I just don't see the interest in it. You know, I never liked Whitney Houston anyways. Her singing, terrible. I mean, she had a great voice. She could sing great, but that music, geez, why couldn't she sing something cool? All that fucking lovey-dovey crap. <laughs> Jeez. You know, beautiful woman, beautiful voice, and sing stupid shit. What the fuck is that? I don't know. What do I know? Yankee to Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Till Tuesday. Tip Tuesday, Voices Carrie with the Yankee and the Brit on a Sunday matinee. I just looked it up, Whitney Houston's daughter. What's her name, Carrie? Something like that? I don't even remember what it is. She died today, so yeah. Just happened today. Uh, TMZ, which I find to be a totally ridiculous TV so show. So I wonder where I saw that then the other week. I don't know. Probably more bullshit. Probably somebody spreading crap again. But anyways, TMZ, talk about a stupid show. What a bunch of retards. TMZ. How can people stand to watch that shit? I happened to be swinging by it one day and watched it for about five minutes. Like, are you serious? You people are so fucking retarded. <laughs> Whatever. I don't like TV anyway. It's more bullshit than anything. And now that we've discovered Doctor Who and Doc Martin both online, fuck that TV. I didn't even watch the news today. I'm so sick of hearing the same friggin' stories all week. Turned it on this morning. What was it on? Five minutes and I turned it off because it was nothing but bullshit. Same crap over and over and over. We're still hearing about stories from last week. Jesus Christ, no fucking disaster and shit happening in this world. We don't need to watch the same story every day. Every time there's an update, they run the whole fucking story again. Why don't you just tell us, oh, this just in, so-and-so did this and this, and call it a day. Fucking news channels. Fucking garbage. Where's Walter Cronkite when you need the guy, you know? I don't get it. Hey, W, what's going on over there, son? Trucking them easy, hey, I hope. Hey, W. I Half did. the news feed is about her death. I've been looking. I ain't seen shit mentioned about it yet. Well, I don't know what the hell's going on there. Top stories. I don't see nothing about her yet. Not a thing. 
I see a post from Linda Ullman. There it is. There's the first one I've seen. Bobby Christina Brown, dead at age 22. I just don't like them. I don't, just not my thing, you know. I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. I could care less what color they are or whatever you might be thinking. I just, just not my bag, that's all. You know, can't go worrying about every little thing that happens. Anyways, uh, there, blown my stick. I like what Chris said. The Ghost and Mrs. Muir TV series. I was watching those all day. We were just talking about that, what, yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Oh, I used to watch it every day after school, man, or, or every night whenever it was on. Yeah, I used to watch a lot of that. I loved that show. It was cool as hell. For some reason it's dead familiar, but I can't kind of work out where I know it from. Hi, Laura White. What's going on? Nice to see you there, good looking. Didn't know you were still around. Of course you did. You just read something that says W says hello. <laughs> so you must have known she was there. <laughs> I just seen W. I didn't even pay attention to her name. What do I know? Damn it, I'm just white. Can't help it. Not my problem. I need to get into some serious jams. We're going to do... Uh, yes, we do. Some Aaron O'Keefe 46 and 2. Let's crank this bitch up and do a little bit of rock and rolling, Joe. Hey, everybody. This is Pat from Train. Hey, it's Katy Perry. You guys are the best. RTM Radio. RTM Playing Radio. the best music hits. If you got that badass bass on, and you got those big old speakers like the old days, crank this bitch. This will help you relax a little bit. 46 and 2. The Yankee and the Brit Show on the RTM Radio Network. Yeah. Nubbin, bubbin, Winston Rap. I hit the gangway, got gold in my grill, flashing my platinum. I'm, I'm ready, ready to chill. chill. Princess and teddy bear, they open, open the tub. tub. I'm on a wreck the party like a little cub. See, Dave, over there with, with his brand, brand new, new shoes. shoes. I'm gonna pop this party and blow their fuse. Hook, 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 there he just hanging. He's off, off to the side. side. He's not tripping. He's just He's tipping the ride. ride. So grab a burger and grab some fries. Listen, Listen to, to all, all these trucking lies. lies. Sherry, Chris, Cindy, and Kapu over at the bar. They drinking a few. Row, 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 row my boat. I said row, 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 row my boat. I said row, row, row my boat. Donna? Row my boat. Fire it up because they're ready to float. Row my boat. I got 400, 400 truckers. They're ready, ready to hang. We all members of the left lane gang. Donna and Randy, they say what's, what's up? up? Kicking like they in the World Cup. World. Ha! To my mother. I thought that was a cool little video I made for that. Written by Winston Bald Nobber himself, the Winston Rap with the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network, the Sunday matinee. What's going on? 842. We're going to close shop at 9 o'clock. Just let you know if you need to get on out of here. Hey, Samo. Samo, sent, baby. What's up? I sent you an email, Samo. Hopefully you can help me on something. I sent you an email over just about an hour ago. What was uh, Michelle spitting out her drink for? Because she didn't know who Baldy Nubber was. I, re- I wrote that it was a rap by Baldy oh. Nubber, and she was like, who's Baldy Nubber? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a fi- kind of like a kind of fictional character, I guess. Um, his name's John. Very but nice he, guy in person. The, yeah, but on the Truckers Gone Wild pra- cruising page, he has this little persona of a Winston, but uh, <laughs> every time he has an account, somebody reports him... Um, and he gets booted off Facebook, so... Uh, so he just quit, I guess. Yeah, I think I think he just quit in the end. At least that's the way I understand it. I don't know yeah, what the real so. story is. Well, but he once he once wrote, like, a rap about the cruisers, and uh, we ended up doing the rap, singing it, didn't we? And you made yeah. a little cool video to it. I thought so, it was cool. Yeah. I liked the video, because I like the three little pigs anyway, so... Yeah. I just thought I did a cool job with it for not knowing what the fuck I'm doing, but what do I know? The Yankee and the Brit... I found that uh, that other tune by the O'Keefe Music Foundation with the kids. They're doing uh, Sober by Tool in this one. I think they rock it. 
Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The, the Yankee, Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. The Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spliced. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the killing will have begun by the end of the show. The heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brits. The Yankee and the Brits. The Randy campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit.